You know, you're a big motherfucker. All the wear and tear that you're putting on this house, I mean, just leaning on the walls, you're putting holes in them. And I gotta fix this shit myself. Cause I don't want nobody to see your big ass. The world is not ready yet. I have to get out of here. So how, first, how are you ladies doing? Um, uh, Olivia, your name has come up in so many of my interviews. Huh? Um, what I do? Last question. I'm, we, we spoke a little about JD before, but I got to watch my son do Junior Olympics this summer. It was like the best experience ever Brother, to see so him. You know. So how does it feel to see your son like star in this in this series and be so great in it and like have his star rising like that? Nothing makes me happy. And let me tell you this: his sister, Olivia. Is on him. Yeah, they haven't seen her yet. Olivia. Well, I don't want to put any pressure on her, but she's. Remember, I said so. All right. Remember the, the dad, the Williams sisters. And they say, wait till you see the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till you see the other one. I'm friends with JD, and, <laughs> and so like we've always been like, uh, like who's the best actor in the house? And most of the time, people like refer. They they say that's Olivia. It's like you've been doing so much stuff, but you no, always come up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I I mean I love my family. They're my best friends. So <laughs> they uh, I am I am in awe of all of their talents and abilities. And you know, yeah. we make art. <laughs> How y'all make how art you with Boost Riley? Because I mean, when you look at um, his projects, it definitely has. He, he definitely has this, he's all tour. He, you, you can see the style coming out through his projects. Um, how was it How was it just getting into this kind of stylistic uh, series that's definitely unique among what's out there right now? I mean, you definitely can't be shy about it. You have to jump in and kind of, and, and ride with it and bring all that you have to it. And and Boots really gave that that kind of freedom and agency to all of us in, in writing these characters, but then in casting us and then in, in the conversations we had making the project, like you really just have to, I mean, first of all, he has, he has, <laughs> he has it, if you will, you, you want to follow him wherever he goes in terms of what he's making. So it was a very easy decision and fun experience. And, and kind of like Darrell Jerome and I mean, the whole cast has like a lot of, uh, chemistry, but you're both uh, scene partners with Jarrell. Like, how was that that mix? Um, just working with, working off of each other as uh, as actors. Well, it's interesting because you know the way that it was shot was 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 a was a challenge because we were shooting in forced perspective. So a lot of the times, you know, we're acting with Jarrell, we're acting with a dot. So we're acting with a dot that's like above us. So it becomes um, just, you know, igniting that 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 imagination of what and what 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 Jarrell is doing um, and who this giant is, who this 13 foot tall black man is. Um, but a lot of the times, we, I mean, and also our off screen vibes were just so on a thousand and beautiful that we kind of understood each other's energies. Anyway, so you probably saw a lot of that in what was shot. Wait, yeah. so let me get this right. So, like, you, I know it's thirteen foot on the screen, but like, you don't, you're not eye line, eye line with him, and they're doing this, and pull yours. You're shooting without him, and we're shooting without him. Yeah, or we're shooting with him, but a doll that has been rendered to look exactly like him down to the mole on his hand. Um, and yeah. <laughs> that's what we're looking at some of the time. So imagine this giant eyeball looking down at you. That's what uh -huh. we were looking or, you know, an X on the wall. <laughs> right. And then he's like playing with little he's he's acting with little dolls. Yes. And he might we might be behind those little dolls, but yes. You know. He's looking at the little doll's face, which is our faces, but half scaled. This exactly. is amazing. I mean, just as actors, like I, I know Boots, Boots uh, Riley always, you know, is trying to break the mold. But like, what type of child? I mean, have y'all ever done anything that was similar? And and mm -mm. but I, you know, what's really cool about it, like 
aside from expanding our imaginations, what does making all of these practical effects happen as opposed to them being done in post-production, it really does create the space and the world and the environment around you. When I can climb up on a on a really big couch made for a 13 foot giant like it really kind of like you, you, you your physicality is a little different of like, yeah, like yeah. this really big chair like this is <laughs> it creates the world and so like having boots being able to demand and or create that space for us to play in like that's top notch like you can't beat that well uh, I can't wait to see everything that unfolds with you guys' career. I'm about to text JD right now. So I'll talk Please to do. And, um, <laughs> and and you guys were great. And I, I love the show. And um, I hope this writer's uh, strike resolves itself pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.